Aaron Summers here with defensive end Peyton Turner. Last season ended a little bit shorter for you. We played five games, but then had a shoulder injury. How has it been working back from that? Uh, really good, really smooth. Um, you know, we had a really good training staff and uh, really good coaches. So just getting back out here has just been great. Uh, it's just been nice to be back out here with everybody. So, uh, but it's going, been going really well. During that time, you said you spent a lot of it watching game film. You were in the meeting rooms. You were able to kind of expand your knowledge of the game a little bit. How much did that benefit you? Uh, I think a lot, uh, you know, once you start getting the mental aspect, uh, you know, the physical is going to be physical. It's football at the end of the day. But once you can slow down the game with your, I think, your uh, mind and your eyes, uh, it just slows down physically almost. Uh, so I think it's just been really beneficial for me to be in the meeting rooms and taking in the mental aspect uh, when I can't do the physical stuff. Now that you're able to get out here, you got the pads on, what are you trying to make of this time that you have in training camp? Uh, just the best. Uh, just more reps, more uh, technique, every everything, trying to make everything matter a little bit more. Uh, and just be a little bit more attentive to detail uh, than last year. Uh, you know, that was rookie year, but <clears throat> just keep, keep getting better, more reps, more reps. Last year, you mentioned your rookie year. What was the biggest surprise, the biggest thing you had to adjust to being in the NFL? I think just like the amount of time, like, uh, you know, you, you have only so many hours in college that you're up at the facility or whatever, but here it's like all day, nine to five, like a legitimate job. So I think that was probably the biggest change. And then um, speed of the game, maybe. Probably, probably the beginning, so probably the biggest thing. Any advice that you're giving to any of the rookies this season? Uh, I've just been t trying to tell them this, just whenever you get in a routine that, that works for you, just stick to it. Um, and you know, you're gonna be tired some days and some days you might not feel like doing it, but you just gotta get out and keep, keep sticking to the routine. What are you trying to do in your year two? What's like a goal that you've set for yourself? Um, just being more consistent, uh, you know, I think it's, I mean, I've been told that I've made flashy plays, and that's great. Um, made a big play here, made a big play there. But just being consistent overall and uh, just continue to make big plays throughout the whole, you know, each quarter, whatever it may be, quarter, game, day, practice, uh, period, whatever it may be, just being more consistent. You obviously have a lot of guys on the defensive line that you can learn from. Oh, yeah. How are those relationships developing? You know, who do you go to if you have a question? Uh, I think... I mean, anybody, any of them, I think we're really tight in the D-line room. We're just super tight. Uh, a lot of funny guys. Uh, we just got really good chemistry. So any of them, uh, whether it be Cam, uh, Marcus, a lot of, obviously, like, I'm the youngest dude in the room. I mean, we have rookies that are older than me still. So <laughs> uh, just going to anybody, really, we just have such a good relationship, I think, in that room that, you know, I can go to O, big O about anything, Shy, Roach, just anybody um, about anything. So it's a cool feeling to know that everybody's got your back. Last year, you told me that you're really big into Star Wars. Oh, yeah. And you have over 400 figurines, right. is that right? At so least. at least, yeah, at like, least. what are the, the coolest ones that you have? So I had like this uh, big at, at I had a big at, at you know, I'd get them coming up out of there, you know, explosions. I'd have all the, you know, the mouth, mouth noises and everything. Sound effects, not mouth noises. Y'all gotta <laughs> pause, cut that out. Uh, but um, yeah, probably the AT, AT and then um, I had this dope like battle damage Darth Vader, which is clean. And then I'm getting these headphones, those those AirPod Maxes. I'm getting the Dragon Ball Z on one side, and then Star Wars on the other. So me as a Jedi, and then me as a Super Saiyan. So you know, that's kind of dope. All right, we'll have to look out for those yeah, when yeah. you're like heading to the, the oh, bus yeah. and stuff, going to games and everything. Where do you keep all of these? Ooh, they're up in my parents' attic right now. I was a little ashamed. <laughs> Uh, going into high school, having those in my closet still. So, you know, when friends came over, I got roasted. So, they're up in the closet right now. But they might make an appearance when I get my own place here, you know. All right. We yeah. look forward to hopefully getting a tour of, like, that game room one you might, day. You might get that, that tour someday, so. All right. Well, happy that you're healthy, and good luck this season. Thank you.